A sense of history and an appreciation of tradition are second nature for Harold Burnham and his crew of Essex shipbuilders. After all, Burnham's have been building wooden vessels in Essex since the 1640s. Many of the tools used and the techniques employed in the construction of the modern day fame have not changed since her namesake was built, not far from here, during the winter of 1810 through 1811. The tools that we use, and many of them are the same tools that we used uh, to build the original fame, the same types of tools the, and the same types of techniques. The uh, adds and the axe are still things that you, you still need from time to time. And uh, particularly for the dubbing, we're using mostly hand adzes because uh, the, it, it allows you to stand back and look at what you're doing. And it also allows you to get into places that no power tool uh, will let you get at. My, my ads says on it, H.A. Burnham, 11 Burnham Court on the handle. And uh, that's not me, that's my grandfather. Not only are the tools and techniques carried over from previous generations, but words and phrases, particular to the craft, have specific meanings for the boat builders. It takes two people to run the saw. One is the sawyer, who's the one feeding the piece and the other, or the fuddock, and the other one is the beveler who's standing beside the saw, tilting the table to uh, the correct bevel as the piece gets fed through. And it, it takes a little bit of skill because you have, the sawyer and the beveler have to work at the same time. As one is feeding, the other one has to change the bevels. The frames are assembled from the sawn fuddocks on the floor of the boat shop. The first layer is laid out, the joints cut, and then dogged to the floor in the exact shape of the mold. Once this is done, the second or after layer is clamped to the first. Holes are drilled, two in each futtock, and the two layers are fastened with hardwood dowels known as trunnels. What we did is we assembled two or three frames and then uh, at a time when people just kind of showed up, we'd go and stand up two or three frames. And a lot of people really enjoy that process because when you're standing the frames up on the keel, you're actually watching the boat take shape in front of you. More than any step in the construction of fame, the planking could be considered the most dramatic, as it's at this time that the true form of the vessel begins to become apparent. When the plank is finished being cut out and shaped, it's put into the steam box two to three hours per plank. At the stern of the fame, the bends were so extreme that uh, we just had to have it as hot as it could possibly be. So what we did was we got all the drills and all of the tools and all of the clamps up on the staging and had them all laid out exactly where we needed them. And we had wedges and blocks of wood and our edge setting clamps all setting there. and. Uh, the hood end is then fastened to the, to the rabbit and it's wrapped right around in place. As autumn gave way to an early winter, each day brought more progress on fame. The framing was completed by the end of December and planking was underway. While the harsh weather did take its toll, it was nothing new to generations of New England boat builders. Building a boat isn't just um, isn't just assembling it, it's watching it come together and the pieces of the keel assembled and the frames develop the shape and then the planks and the skin going on and, and it's not only just watching it, to, watching it come together, it's, it's the people that you work with. Sometimes the weather isn't on your favor. It, it can be snowing or raining or whatever and once you've started some of these processes like steam in a plank, once you've got it cooking in the steamer, you can't just stop because it starts to snow out. You've got to work your way through it. The, the process of watching it come together and, and working outside in the weather makes it all worth it and makes it worth working sometimes when it's not ideal because we're, if you keep going, the progress will happen and you can, in every day, with each part that goes on, you feel a little bit better and you know that spring is coming and you're going to have to have it done.
As the schooner Fame slid down the ways into the water of the Essex River, it was the culmination of 16 months of work by the crew of Essex shipbuilder Harold Burnham. 